Excuse me. I have to break up with my girlfriend. Oh, Sheldon, wait. No. You've opened my eyes to the truth. Amy has made me a more affectionate, open-minded person. And that stops now. <laughs> I'll get right to the point. I think we need to end this relationship. So, just sign this with your finger, and uh, please don't cry on my iPad. I didn't get Apple Care. I'm not surprised you want to end the relationship. I'm a little surprised you didn't get Apple Care. Anyway, enjoy your life. Where do I sign? At the bottom. I must say I'm relieved you're not making more of a scene out of this. Oh, I've already moved on. Besides, this breakup has nothing to do with me. It doesn't? Of course not. This is just Leonard trying to take the focus off that dreadful table by sowing discord in our relationship. He's manipulating you like he always does. What do you want to hang on? You think he manipulates me? All the time. And he knew that as your girlfriend, I wasn't going to stand by and let him bring a table into your apartment. I mean, a table? Come on! It is hideous. Well, thankfully, I won't have to see it because I won't be your girlfriend anymore. Amy, Farrah Fowler. Why, yes, I would like to take a survey. No, no. Wait. You were really going to stand by me against the dining room table? Of course I was. Wait. How do I know that you're not manipulating me right now? I think if I were manipulating you, you'd be smart enough to see it. How do I know you're not saying that as part of the manipulation? I think you'd be smart enough to see that, too. Okay. I'm sorry I gave you such a hard time. I just had to be sure. You guys didn't break up. No, sorry to disappoint you. But Amy pointed out that you were only trying to manipulate me. Which you also figured out by yourself. Which I also figured out by myself. Well, I'm glad you're still together. Yeah, okay, you can stop trying to make this about our relationship. Which is stronger than ever. Yeah, which is stronger than ever. Uh, explain why that change was bad and this change was good. Um... You don't need to explain yourself to him. I don't need to explain myself to you. <laughs> You're sick of his nonsense and ready to move in with me? Keep the table. We don't use that space. <laughs> Damn it, I got cocky. First, there was PlayStation, a.k.a. PS1. Then there's PS2, PS3, and now PS4. And that makes sense. You'd think after Xbox, there'd be Xbox 2. But no. Next came Xbox 360. Hmm? And now, after 360, comes Xbox One. <laughs> Why one? Maybe that's how many seconds of thought they put in the naming it. Can you get the butter, please? Yeah. However, with the Xbox One, I can control my entire entertainment system using voice commands. Up until now, I've had to use Leonard. Then get the other one. Pass the butter. Get, hang on. I don't feel like you're taking this dilemma seriously. Fine, Sheldon. You have my undivided attention. Okay, now, the PS4 is more angular and sleek looking. No way! You, it, it's true. But the larger size of the Xbox One may keep it from overheating. Well, you wouldn't want your gaming system to overheat. No, see, well, you absolutely would not. And furthermore, the Xbox One now comes with a Kinect included. Included? Yes, not sold separately. You, although the PS4 uses cool new GDDR5 RAM, while the Xbox One is still using the conventional DDR5 memory. Why would they still be using DDR3? Are they nuts? <laughs> See, that's what I thought. But then they go and throw in an ES RAM buffer. Whoa, 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 wait a second. Who's they? The Xbox. You're kidding! No, I am not. And this ES RAM buffer should totally bridge the 100 gigabit per second bandwidth gap between the two RAM types. This is a nightmare. How will you ever make a decision? See, I don't know. What should I do? Please pass the butter! <laughs> Thank you again for dinner. You're welcome. Good night. Uh, it's date night. Aren't you, uh, forgetting something? <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> Did I mention the PS4 controllers light up? <laughs> no. Well, they do. I'm proud of you, Sheldon. You know, I'm proud of me, too. I've done all my research, I conducted an informal poll, and I've arrived at the rock-solid certainty I've made the right choice. Well, that's gotta be a good feeling. Oh, it is. 
Although... Oh, crap. Now, I had the same feeling when I made my dad buy a Betamax instead of a VHS. You were just a little kid. Yeah, a little kid who picked the wrong format to record the McNeil Lara report. <laughs> I also was certain that HD DVD would win out over Blu-ray. How old were you then? Old enough to know better. Now that I think about it, I stood in front of a case of iPods and I bought a Zune. <laughs> What's a Zune? Yep, exactly. It's an MP3 player brought to us by the makers of Xbox. No, what are you doing? No, pick that back up. You know it's good. You did the research. But what if I'm wrong? You know what? How about I buy it for you? How about I buy you both? You know I only have one slot available on my entertainment center. Then I'll buy you a new entertainment center. Yeah, okay, sure. But which one? How about this? I've heard that if you flip a coin, it will tell you how you actually feel, because you'll either be disappointed or excited by the outcome. Interesting. So, heads, it's PS4, tails, it's Xbox One. All right, I'll try. What is it? A quarter. Could have given it back to me. That was a choice. <laughs> On the one hand, the Xbox One has a better camera. But the PS4 has a removable hard drive. Thoughts? I can't feel my legs. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys, but the store closed five minutes ago. But I haven't decided yet. You have to come back tomorrow. The registers are closed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you some food. You you'll feel better after you eat. OK. <laughs> what, what do you want? Like Thai food, uh, a burger? I don't know! <laughs> I look a quarter! <laughs>